All right, before we get into the full formal derivation of the optimal decision rule for these type of error control codes called block codes, we need to introduce one more little definition. It's called the Hamming distance. This is going to let us quantify exactly what we mean by how close words are to each other or code words are to each other. So we call this the Hamming distance and we denote it as D sub H. So D for distance, the subscript H to just denote the uh, Hamming distance. And we can compute it between any you know, vectors of the same length. So if we're talking about the distance between code words, maybe I have code word X sub M and the nth code word X sub N, I would refer to the distance between those code words as this quantity right here. So the Hamming distance takes really two inputs. You have to give it two things that you want to compare and figure out how close they are together. How do I compute the Hamming distance between two code words? Well, it's pretty simple. All I do is take them and add them together, but I do it using modulo two arithmetic. So as I add the first bit of this message to the first bit of that message, I take what answer, whatever answer I get, and if it's zero plus zero, I get zero. If it's zero plus one or one plus zero, I get one. If it's one plus one, I get two, which modulo two arithmetic is zero. So anytime you have one plus one, you get back to zero. So after I've performed this addition bitwise and taken mod two of every entry, I have a new vector that's the exact same length as the previous vectors. And all of these Z zeros, Z ones, etc., are all zeros or ones. So if you want, you can write it out like this after now adding up all the entries, okay? So these are zeros and ones, and by adding up all the entries of Z, what I'm really computing is all the entries where these are different. So think, think about that. If the first bit is zero and zero on both these, zero plus zero is zero, and then when I add it up in this sum, I get nothing. What about when both entries are one? One plus one is two, but then take mod two, I get zero. So if they match, I have a zero over here again. So when I add it up, I get a zero. It's only when these quantities don't match, either one and zero or zero and one, do I end up with a one over here, and then I get a one in this summation, which gives me a one added up in the distance. So really all we're doing is just seeing where do these two code words not match, add up all the places they don't match. That's all the Hamming distance is. All right, let's go ahead and just do a little example. So if x1 is this and x2 is this, let's go ahead and form z. So we're just gonna bitwise add one plus zero is one, one plus one mod two is zero, and then zero plus zero is zero, one plus one mod two is zero, then zero plus zero is zero, zero plus one is one, and one plus zero is one. So that is what Z is. Now add up all the values in Z. I have one plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus one plus one, or another way of thinking about it is just find all the non-zero entries. There's three of them, so I end up with one plus one plus one, and that equals three. So the Hamming distance really is just a measure of how many bits are different between the two input words. And we're gonna use that in the next video to derive the optimal decision rule for our receiver now that we have a formal mathematical definition of what we mean by distance between two words.